Big Shot is a new streaming show on Disney Plus starring John Stamos, Yvette Nicole Brown and a whole bunch of others and it's essentially a show that looks like it's going to run through a similar concept of the original Mighty Ducks movies. Why am I saying this? Well, because they're both about a man who gets fired from his job and is forced to take on a sports team, reluctantly taking on a role he doesn't want to. I, I know Mighty Ducks is not the only story on the shelf who does this kind of sports story, but truth be told, a Mighty Ducks sequel show is now also running on Disney+, Plus, so the comparison is an easy one to make right now. By the way, my thoughts on those Mighty Ducks episodes are in the right-hand corner or in the description if you want to hear about that. Now, let's stop wasting time. Hi, fellow Disney Plus watchers. This is Thoughts After Disney Plus Watch, where we review everything new Disney Plus coming out, and I'm glad you're watching. John Stamos, that guy I know from that show, is now playing a world-class coach who gets fired from his NCAA coach job and gets to coach a girl team at a high school and he's not comfortable about that. But this job might be his only way up the ladder again after his unacceptable behavior on the job. That's basically the setup of the show and all this plays out in like the first 10 minutes so don't worry, that's the basic setup here. Yeah about that, let me start with saying this and this is a good thing. This series will contain 10 episodes, okay? And without giving anything away, I have to say this episode gave us a lot of story and actually moved the premise further than I would have expected for a first episode. John Stamos' character Marvin Korn has already learned a few life lessons in this episode, something I would have imagined coming a few chapters later in the story. Again, given that this show is a 10 episode season, not like 6 episodes like, like Falcon and Wind Soldier or something. Because this character gets tested, and that's the thing that will make the show worthwhile, I think. Even though it's playing with a concept we have already seen to death. A character that's self-absorbed and extremely passionate about achieving a goal, only to find out it takes something else to get there, or life is about more than that. You know, that's in general a well-known dynamic of a main character, and, and we get that here. And you know, we've seen this. You know, if you want to see something very unique, you won't get that from this episode. It's not out of this world. But this kind of story works in this setting because the, the character of Marvin Korn and the dynamic of these girls are completely opposite. There's one scene in the episode that, that's especially effective where Marvin admits to one of his players, I don't see people, I see athletes. And this line, this sentence, I think that one um, is going to be very important moving forward because this is exactly the thing that got him fired if you think about it. That mindset of his. The episode also got some nice touches of Marvin don't understanding teen issues and sexual orientation and the way the basketball team works uh, together, what they need to be motivated. It's exactly the opposite of what Marvin tends to deliver as a coach. These opposing views result in a few chuckles and some memorable scenes and some fun stuff. They'll work together. There's a nice dynamic going on between Marvin and essentially everyone from that high school. Even the principal played by Yvette Nicole Brown is on his skin. One thing that stood out to me though is that it seemed to me that the creators weren't able to pick a style in terms of filmmaking. It doesn't have to have a very different unique style I think but a few times I noticed an unusual um, a mockumentary zoom then a little bit later a very desaturated image though the scenes in the gym are very colorful and bright. And I'm not talking about a few flashback shots we get in this episode, not at all. Those were stylishly desaturated and that fits. Just sometimes this show wants to be a mockumentary, sometimes a brooding drama, sometimes a witty colorful comedy, sometimes a staged high school drama. In the script it's all balanced perfectly well, but in the filmmaking it's sometimes a bit confusing because I couldn't always figure out what the visual style of the show was going to be. It's not a hugely distracting thing, just something I noticed. Before I continue, if you're new to this channel, did you know I'm currently the only review channel on YouTube that is specifically Disney Plus? <laughs> You'll always have an idea on what to expect. Click that button and that bell if you want to follow along, thank you so much. And just to conclude here on my first impression of this show, it's a likable show so far. The cast is doing a good job, the visual style is somewhat confusing if you look into it, but it won't be a distracting thing, don't worry. The script got the story further than I would have expected, some lessons are already learned and some battles are already fought, figuratively speaking. So I would have expected this all to play out in like the first three or maybe four episodes. That's not a bad thing, because now it feels like this show won't be wasting my time or stretching things too thin although it still could in the future. So that's so that's one thing I hope this show is not gonna do, uh, give us a lot of story progression at the beginning and at the end, and try to fill the rest with fluff and uninteresting side plots. Not saying that this show will be guilty of that, just hoping it won't go there. 
You Catch My Drift. We all know those shows that go on for too long just because they're programmed by the producer to do so. I'm thinking about wrapping this up. Have you seen the first episode and do you enjoy it so far? Let me know. I plan to do spoiler sections for the coming episodes next um, nine weeks. <laughs> nine weeks, can you imagine? I just wanted to give my general impressions so far. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you do. Can't wait to watch Mighty Ducks and Falcon and the Winter Soldier today. I will get those reviews up very soon. For now, have a wonderful day and see ya.